do you en do you envision a lot of business in the United States? I think so. Um, the United States is a huge market. You can sell almost anything here. <laughs> so uh, a lot of people, uh, I mean, uh, expected somehow to get the Jetsons or to get to go some some time to space or something about like that in their lifetime, and they unfortunately they didn't get it. And uh, it's a huge country with uh, a lot of wealth, a lot of curiosity, a lot of uh, uh, free spirits. I think uh, clearly the U.S. is initially probably the biggest market. I can't, I, it's hard to predict on a lifetime of something like this, which may be 15, 20 years. Uh, maybe some of the countries like China may, may cut up. But, but right now, the U.S. is obviously the largest economy of the world, so, so it should have a, a fair share of, of tickets. And what are the remaining milestones between today and commercial operations? First, we, we need to continue with some uninhabited testings. We'll then go and fly with uh, test pilots for a while and started the certification process, which is, for any aerospace project, is the most, uh, uh, is the largest source of uncertainty in terms of, uh, of timing, because it happens, to, uh, it happens to everybody that sometimes there's, there's delays. We're, we're quite optimistic that, that there's gonna be things that are gonna be certified that are way more complex than what we're doing. So we think we should be on, on schedule with that. So those are, those are the main steps on complete the uninhabited testing and start uh, uh, human uh, uh, piloted flights and, um, and the certification phase, which we hope is not too long. Now, you, when, when you talk about the certification phase, you're talking about the uh, aviation authority in the country that you're launching from? Uh, we'll, we would like to do this in both for with EASA, the European uh, equivalent to the FAA, and the FAA itself, probably under AST 400. And we are a very uncommon type of vehicle, but that's uh, fine. Uh, that's uh, why these uh, new regulations have been put in place. Uh, we fly outside controlled airspace. But um, in a way, we're a, a, a gas balloon, and in a way, we're a glider. The, both things uh, existed before aircraft. Uh, so the regulations, uh, you could argue that they existed before the actual aircraft regulations. And, um, but of course, we, we won't just uh, try to certify it like a normal gas balloon. We have to do more things to it. Do you currently have a timeline for the first commercial flight? Um, we do have internally, but all I can say is that it'll be somewhere between 2013 and 2015. So it's after London, but before Rio in terms of Olympics. And I don't want to get into more detail than that. You can come to a website and you can uh, subscribe to our newsletter and you'll be among the first to know. But when we announce the date, we would like the, the date to be firm.